Lord began to speak to me this morning. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. But nowhere is it implied that we shouldn't walk by spiritual sight. Are you listening to me? The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. But nowhere does it insinuate in any way, shape, or form, not an inkling, that we should not walk by spiritual sight. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, yes, but that implies that you haven't yet seen it manifest in the natural realm, in the natural earthly human dimensions. Faith is the evidence of things not seen, but you can see them in the spirit. If you can see it in the spirit, you can have it. If you can see it in the spirit, it builds your faith to grab a hold with a bulldog tenacity and say, this is mine. God showed me things to come. The Holy Spirit revealed to me what is in store for my life. I can see it. God has given me a vision for my life, for the next year, for the next decade. God has shown me the college that I am going to, and I will walk by spiritual sight. I will walk with my spiritual eyes wide open so that I can grab a hold by faith. In other words, what I see in the Spirit infuses my faith. What I see in the Spirit edifies my soul so that even if I have to wait a long, 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 long time to grab it and pull it in the natural, I know it's there for the taking. I know it's God's will. I know that there is a Kairos time. And I will not grow weary in well-doing. I will not grow weary in the waiting. I will not grow weary in the meantime. But I will see the Kairos time. And what I see in the Spirit infuses my faith to walk it out in the earth dimension. Do you understand me? Seeing is believing. The Lord said, seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. God told Abraham, go out and look up at the sky and count the stars if you can, so shall your descendants be. He didn't see any descendants for a long, 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 long time. But he had the promise. He remembered the stars. He remembered the vision. He remembered the sight. And he internalized that. And every time he got discouraged, I can imagine the Holy Spirit reminding him, or just his own soul reminding him, remember, remember, look up at the stars. When everything is coming against your vision, everything is coming against the promise of God, everything is coming against the prophetic word, Go look again in the spirit dimensions. Go look again in the seer dimensions. Go look again and again and again. When all hell has broken loose, when it seems like the vision, the promise, the prophetic word, the dream is not going to come to pass, go look again in the seer dimensions. Go look again. Look again and again and again and again and again and again. Keep on looking and let that spiritual sight infuse your faith. Seeing is believing. When you can see it, you can believe it. When you can see it in the spirit, when you can see God's will, when you can see it for real, it infuses your faith. Remember when Elijah prophesied to King Ahab? He said, it will not rain, but at my word. There was a famine in the land, and there was no rain. And after the false prophets at Mount Carmel were defeated and murdered, slain, defeated, overtaken, thrown down, Elijah prophesied, said, now hurry back before the rain overtakes you. It is going to rain. There was no sign of rain. There was not a cloud in the sky, but Elijah saw in the spirit and he was able to prophesy the spiritual reality that was soon to come, even though there was no evidence in the natural. 
the land was dry. His mouth was probably dry. As he prophesied, rain is coming. And he went up and he got in the position of travail. And he began to pray for the rain that he saw in the spirit at the seer dimensions. He sent his servant, go look, go look, go look, go look for the natural sign of what I see in the spirit dimension. Go look, go look for the natural manifestation of what I see in the seer dimensions because I know that it's coming. I am confident in my visual acuity. I know what I saw. I know what I heard. I know that 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 it's going to rain. Faith is the evidence of things not seen, except he saw it in the spirit. Shaba shakata. And his servant came back and said, I'm sorry, Elijah, there's no rain. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's crystal clear. You can see far and wide in the natural, but I cannot see any rain, no sign, no evidence. No, by no stretch of the imagination. Elijah kept praying. He didn't give up because he saw it in the spirit. Come on, somebody. Because he saw it in the spirit, he would not give up. His word would not fall to the ground because his word, his prophetic word about the rain, would not fall to the ground. It could not fall to the ground because it was birthed by the spirit. And what is birthed by the spirit will come to pass. What is birthed by the flesh is bound to die. servant he said go look again and the servant went a second time <laughs> still no evidence but Elijah was not moved Elijah did not stop praying he didn't stop travailing he didn't stop believing because he had seen it with his eyes come on what have you seen with your eyes in the spirit that the enemy is trying to get you to stop looking at Keep your eye fixed on God first and foremost, but keep your eyes fixed on the prize like Jesus did when he hung on the cross, when he was in pain, when he was suffering. Some of you are in pain. Some of you are suffering. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on that vision that God gave you, that thing you saw, the promise in the spirit, the prophetic word. Keep your eyes on that prize. Elijah sent his servant back a third time. Again, he came back. I don't see it. A fourth time. Go look again. Servant comes back. Uh uh. No sign. I wonder in my heart if after the fourth time, if after the fifth time, if after the sixth time, did Elijah's servant keep his faith? When you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting on a promise God gave you in the spirit, on something you saw in the seer dimensions to come to pass, as you're waiting, as you're waiting, as you're waiting, as you're waiting, do those people round and about you give up hope? Or do they stand with you because they haven't seen it, but because they believe you have? Do the people closest to you encourage you to stand and withstand, to keep the faith? Do they begin to doubt and take you down with them? Elijah kept on praying. He had prophesied it. He had seen it in the spirit. He knew that it was coming. It was not going to fail. The word, the vision was not going to fail. He knew it and he kept on praying. And on the seventh time, on the seventh time, that he sent his servant. The servant came back with a report that was different from the first six reports. The servant came back with a report of what he saw. What he saw manifesting in the natural. It was a cloud the size of a man's hand. A man's hand, even a big man's hand is small. Even a, even a big man's hand is small in the sky. This servant had to have grabbed hold of a determination because Elijah was so determined. It must have spilled over on him because he really looked. 
he looked as hard as he could he looked to find any evidence of Elijah's spiritual vision manifesting in the natural and he saw it it wasn't much it was the first fruits it was the beginning it was a cloud the size of a man's hand just a little bit of evidence just a little bit of proof Elijah prayed it through and sure enough the rain came I decree God is about to rain upon you with his provision I decree God is about to rain upon you with his glory I decree God is about to rain upon you with his healing power I believe that God is about to rain upon many of you in relational reconciliations God is about to rain upon you that which he has promised you in past seasons if you just won't give up if you just won't grow weary in well-doing if you just won't faint you won't fail you're a winner God's going to do it for you but you've got to go back and remember what God showed you what you saw in the spirit and if you didn't ever see anything go look now go look now go look now go look God ask God show me God show me like you showed Abraham give me a spiritual insight open the eyes of my heart and let me see in the spirit realm in the seer dimensions the promise the evidence the breakthrough the healing the deliverance the provision let me see it so I can fix my eyes on your promise faith is the evidence of things not seen but Lord you can show us in the spirit so that it can bolster and infuse our faith. Lord, would you open our eyes today and help us to see what we have not seen before, or show us again the things you showed us in past seasons that we may have forgotten about amidst all the resistance and the distractions of life and the warfare against our mind. Show us again, God, show us again. Help us to look again and again and again. Help us to keep on looking at what you want us to see instead of what the enemy wants us to see so that we can grab hold with our faith to things unseen in the natural but very clearly seen in the seer dimensions in Jesus name Amen and Amen